when hockey is in your blood, pumping through your heart and running through your veins. You live it. You breathe it. You need it. Mark Johnson was born to play hockey. First met Mark uh, back uh, in 1980 before the Olympics. And when I saw Mark, I saw a guy who was just very steady and very solid. Obviously, he'd come from a hockey family. I remember seeing Mark, uh, I think he was around 16, and he came out for the World Championships. And I was at Boston University at the time, and I'm thinking, wow, is this kid a good player? Part of Mark's upbringing was that, you know, he got to be around Bob a lot. And like, when Bob was coaching the Olympic team, he got to skate with him. What was Bob Johnson doing? He was watching the Russians. He was watching what was going on with the Swedes and the Finns and the Czechs. He, at the dinner table, can you imagine Bob talking about you know the Russians? They're one touch in the pass. They're shooting off the pass. When he stepped on the ice and you could see him shoot and scores like this, this young man's pretty special. Into the great score, Mark Johnson. Probably weighed 160 pounds, uh, but he could shoot the puck harder than anybody on the team. He had the best shot on the team. He wasn't the biggest of guys, but his in hockey intelligence was off the charts and you know it was like it was he was fun to watch he was fun to be on the ice with he just saw the ice how quick he was but boy he was just so smart and clever knowing everything about the game you know they talked years ago about larry bird being able to see the whole court that was mark on the ice he, he could see everything here we go as the game is underway the soviet union in red and the united states in white preparing for the olympics i mean mark johnson i thought might be our best player. For Americans, that's the number one, the, the biggest event in hockey history. And Mark Johnson was the best player on the 1980 Olympic team. 13 seconds left in the penalty. They chuck it in, oh, Mark Johnson, they score! Mark Johnson, they score! It wasn't for Mark Johnson, we don't win the gold medal in 1980. I mean, he was the man. When we needed a goal, we needed a play, Magic was the one that did it for us. He was a tough little nut too, in terms of, you figured he played 12 years in the National Hockey League, not the biggest guy, in an era where you could do a lot more back then than you can in today's game, and he played 11, 12 years. So that combination of the thing made him very special as a hockey player. To have a Johnson be the first hockey jersey to be hanging in the rafters at the Kohl Center, quite a nice thing to see. Mark, this is a tremendous honor. It's so well deserved. Loved watching you play. Congratulations, Steve, my man.